Hello, and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. I am going to be doing some things today. First of all, let's check if I can make some wishes. Yes, I can. I can make a total of three. So I will do just that. And so far, so good. A bow, just what I always wanted. And this weird orb thing. Also what I've always wanted. Yep. Uh, can I make any other kind of wishes? No. Okay. Uh, let's see this very fast. So, first of all, I've spent some time on that minigame, uh, Theater Mechanicus, and I got a ton of, uh, points that I've been able to spend on various things. Like, for example, I can buy this, uh, in a few hours. Um, obviously I haven't bought it yet. Uh, I can buy six of these, so I may as well do that right now. And another six of these. I'm not going to spend too much of these because I want to be able to buy that crown. Uh, I'll eventually want to be able to buy the Celebration Lantern Light as well. But yeah, th that minigame is pretty cool. I, uh, basically, well, let me see if I can actually look at it very fast. Uh, armory. So I took the time to upgrade uh, all of my stuff here to the highest I could get it for now, which is level 6 for most of them, except for the recovery mechanicus, uh, which is pretty neat now that I know what it does. Uh, basically, it gives you more points uh, if it's placed down in an area where the enemies are... Uh, being killed by the machines that are also in the area, if that makes any sense. It, cre it creates, like, a little circular area, you know, radius, and it's it's very useful. I, I might show that at a later time. Anyways, let's get this show on the road. Quest. Uh, Sayu. I suppose I should give him a Zhao Lantern, after all. Give who a Zhao Lantern? Oh, Traveler, it's you. Well, the wrench has always taken good care of me. Even now, he helps me out all the time. He's almost like a real br a brother to me. This is supposed to be a festival, and yet he's still working nonstop. So I'd like to give him a Zhao Lantern as a gift. <laughs> we were ch uh, childhood playmates, and he absolutely loved the sight of lanterns when he was little. I'm sure he'd love to get one now. Traveler. Could you help me deliver the Shao Lantern to him? Uh, it might need more coming from you. I'd love to, but I've still got so many things to take care of at home. I've left my husband to do all the housework uh, while I've been out shopping. I should get back to help him as soon as I can. So I'm leaving the matter of the Shao Lantern to you. Once we've got some time, my husband and I will go see the, the wrench together. I do hope he'll manage to get a little more free time. Okay. Uh, that's a little odd, but... Okay. What the... What was that? Oh, it's a cat. Is that the first cat I've ever seen in this game? Huh. Nah, it's not. But it's the first I've seen in a long while. That's for sure. Okay, let's go talk to this wrench guy. The wrench. Uh, there you go. Wrench Wang. Hmm? Do you have some business with me, Traveler? I'm quite busy at the moment. Here's a Zhao Lantern from Sai. Okay. And give it. Sai? She... She got me a Zhao Lantern? Well, let me see. Ha ha ha! She wrote this wish for me, didn't she? Yep, that was my greatest wish as a kid. So many years have passed in the blink of an eye. Time truly flies. Still, how come she asked you to deliver it for me? Uh, she needs to return home to help her husband. Ah, is that so? Good. Good. Yes, very good. Sounds like she's got a good life now. That's all that matters. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a good thing. It's very good. I'm sorry, I've still got a lot of work to do, if you'll please excuse me. Oh boy. What's going on here? 
Uh, traveler, a moment, if you will. Oh, okay. yeah. That Jal Lantern was from Sayu, wasn't it? Uh, you overheard us? Huh, I just know him well enough. There was no need to even guess. He did exactly the same thing last year. Went off for a walk, then came right back and proceeded to hammer nails into a ship's hull the whole night through. I know why he does this, but still, uh... Traveler, could you please go help him out? Tormenting oneself is no way to spend a festival. I'll do it. Sorry for troubling you. I bet he's on board a ship right now, working away. Best to go find him quick. I'll be preparing some food in a bit. Come back here once you're done and we'll eat together. Okay. I found a library. Someone's, uh, not library. What am I saying? Somebody's diary. I don't know why I would say library. Anyways, where is this guy at? Oh, he's over here. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit of, bit of an odd quest here. Wow, this guy got over here fast. Without a glider, anyways. We've dallied so long. I'm sure we've fallen behind on work. Best we put our backs into it. Y you sure you're alright? Hey, what are you trying to say? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? I should get back to work now. Once I finished... Uh, well, I'll see. Allow me to help. Hmm? Well, if you really want to, you can bring me some wooden planks. Wait, really? That's all you want? Some wooden planks? Wait a second. Have I done this before? Why does this seem so familiar? Maybe it was, uh... One of the commissions or something? I don't know why, but it seems like somebody needs wooden planks really often. Although those weren't the kind of wooden planks that I normally got, so... Oh, look at this! A precious treasure chest. That's what I get for not exploring any of this stuff yet. Get to find stuff like that occasionally. Okay, talk to this guy again. Have you brought the planks? Uh, there you go. Give those two to him. Hmm, these should do the trick. Many thanks. There's still a few loose ends to tie up. Can I trouble you to let, uh, could I trouble you to go to the dock and take inventory of some newly arrived goods? There should be a total of three crates piled up on the dock. Leave it to me. You're a big help. In the meantime, I need to, go to get a move on and finish up everything here. Okay. And it's all the way over there. Can I get through this little area? No? Okay. I was just wondering hoping that I could uh, get through there. Oh my goodness, my character almost dived into the water. Look for the objective in this area. There's, There they are. I need a total of three of them, though. Will this be a little bit more complicated? Nope. Not really. I just want to see if I can get up there. Nope. Thankfully, I was able to recover. It would have sucked if I, uh, hadn't been able to do that. I wonder what's down in there. I can't guarantee there's at least one more treasure chest down there. Oh, crap. Come on. There we go. Have you tallied the numbers up? All done? Thank you very much. Well, then, that's today's urgent work dealt with. Hammer Lee says he's got some food prep for you. Huh? Does he now? That guy worries too much. Oh, well, whatever. Since he's already gone to the trouble of making it, let's go join him. Uh, besides, you've helped me out, uh, out a lot too, so some of that should go to you as compensation. Okay, let's go over here and talk to <coughs> Hammer Lee again. Oh, I almost fell down that hole. Climbing up around stuff in here in this place is a little bit hard. It's done. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Do you, oh, you finished everything? Hey, it was a small matter. And with this traveler help, helping, it was easy. Yeah. Uh... Oh, come on. It's a festive season. No need for the long pace. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Have you prepared a Jow Lantern yet? A Jow Lantern? Ugh, I forgot. What's with my memory today? 
Oh well, never mind, eh? It's just a lantern. So what if we don't release one this time? Ha, huh, don't you try that with me. You're not seriously suggesting that we celebrate the lantern right without a lantern now, are you? Traveler, uh, could you make a lantern for my colleague? Leave it to me. Thank you very much. We'll be waiting for you here. Uh, okay, I'll give him the lantern then. Did you bring a Zhao lantern? Got it right here, sir. I've got plenty of them. Uh, okay, that will do. Thank you. You've really done a lot, Traveler, and during the festive period, too. Well then, what should I wish for? Hmm, let's go with this. New year, new horizons. Uh, sounds good. You think so? Ha ha ha. That's good. I, ah, I do wish that it would come true. Uh, what's wrong? He made the same la uh, wish last year as well. Oh, really? That's a little bit depressing. Okay. Uh, on to the next one, which I haven't looked at yet. I haven't looked at any of them. Uh, let's see. The Illumi Screen 1. Let's go and find that wherever it may be. Oh, that's the other thing is Perfect Shot is now available too. I might do that in this video. Talk to Brother Kian uh, at night from 2100 to 500 hours. So, let's see. It's He's actually shown up over here now. So I can go talk to him. Uh, at least I should be able to. Unless, wait. Is it already past that time? It probably should be, right? I mean, it's quite bright out. Why does it feel like I'm not getting any closer to this guy? Wait a second. Should have been around here, right? Huh. Did I select the wrong one? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to him uh, at night, so it'll be right around here once I change the time uh, okay so let's change the time to 21 and the lanterns will come out in a second I think anyways uh, they'll be out over this yeah, over that area. I haven't actually uh, tried to see if you can get close to them. Or if they're just like particle effects that look like lanterns. Okay, where is this guy? Wait a second, I thought it said that he was near the... I thought it, sa it said he was near the Adventurer's Guild. Brother can for Oh, it says he's from there. Okay. Well then, let's go talk to him. I suppose I'll, I have to teleport there no matter what I decide to do. I'll accept the uh, perfect shot quest while I'm over there as well because that's right by this guy. At least as far as I know it is. Yeah. Here's Jitong. Let's talk to him. And then kind of remember the general location of that guy over there. Ah, uh, hello. Just the person I wanted to speak to. Uh, about what? Nope. No need. I figured out what it was. I finally managed to track down the merchant the other day, the one who sold me in the first place. I told him there was a problem with the camera he sold me, but he was having none of it. Luckily, I had all the photos he took for me. Without them, I'd have no way of convincing him. After taking a look at your photos, he finally agreed to take a look at the camera he sold to me. Yesterday, he came to see me and brought a bottle of some sort of potion with him. He explained that this camera works differently from regular models. You need to add some of this port of potion to it to make the photos turn out normal. If you don't add any, the photos turn out just like yours did. Just pages of color rather than clear images. Uh... Good thing your camera's not broken then. Or so problem sorted. I'll choose so problem sorted. Well, to be honest, I'm less interested in the camera itself now. This potion is what intrigues me. Think about it. Most people will just buy the camera, right? 
buying it once, use it for or buy it once, use it forever. But this potion is a consumable, so once you've used it up, you have to buy more if you want to keep using it. Also, the guy says that different potions will produce photos with different effects. He's currently developing more types. Why can't he just develop a normal camera? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Uh, anyways. Maybe, just maybe, those bottles of potion are where the big business opportunity is. Ah, sorry, I'm rambling. Thanks for all your help. Hand me this cam- Hand me this camera. I'll add some potion in it for you. Oh yeah? Uh, give that to him. Alright, this camera is yours to keep. Take care of it. You're just gonna give it to me? Or what happens if the when the potion runs out? Uh, you're just gonna give it to me. There's enough potion in there to get you a good amount of use out of it. Once it runs out, well, you know where to find me, right? While we're on the subject, I'm planning to talk to my contact about importing some new kinds of potions for the camera. If you find something that interests you, I hope you see, uh, to see you here again in the future. The uh, thought I was just buying a camera turns out I was buying a whole business venture. Is that literally the whole quest? Wow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, wrap that up then. That's good. Oh. Hi, Brother Kian. Try the Illumi screen. Illumi... what? Illumi screen. What do you say? Come on, it's really simple. See those screens and the, uh, these three lanterns? I had these lanterns made to order. When you turn them on, they cast uh, all kinds of images. If you rotate all three lanterns in the right way, the three images will combine to give you the right, uh, to give you the full picture. Hmm, maybe I'm not explaining it clearly. Okay, how about this? Have a go of rotating the lanterns first. And once you're comfortable with how it works, I'll tell you how the whole game works in more detail. Okay, this is weird. Uh... Oh, look at that. That's the symbol that's on Paimon. Uh... On her chest right there, I think. Except... Upside down. Oh, well, hers is upside down, probably. Uh... Let's rotate that one. And then... Okay, he just wants me to talk to him again. Wow, you picked that up quickly. Okay, now that you've got the basic idea, time to give it a proper go. Uh, no, you are, uh, did, didn't you already figure out how to rotate the lanterns? When you're playing for real, all you need to do is rotate the three lanterns so that the images they cast on the screen align to get the full picture. You can tell the image combinations in advance, but it's up to you to figure out how to rotate the lanterns. What happens when they overlap? You may or may not have noticed that those screens have a map of Lia and Liyue painted on them. When you align the images and shine them onto the map, you'll find treasures spe specially prepared by the Adventures Guild. The guild had a lot of people working to f uh, at full tilt to set up all the treasures, all the treasure sites. Huh. The treasures, though, they're just like these chests here. Once you know the locations, you should be able to find them. Today's image is ready. It's a glaze lily. One other thing. The images on the Illumi screen only show up clearly at night. You'd best come back at night if to have a try. Also, the Adventurers Guild commissioned an expert to make these lanterns. They're really quite beautiful, so please take a good close look at them, or it'll have been a bit of a waste. Okay. Uh... Complete the Illumi... Okay, it wants me to complete the Glaze Lily, huh? That's not it. That should be it. And this one right here. There we go. Now it wants me to examine it. Wow, this really is a Glaze Lily. It's got these glowy spots, too. Still, where are the clues to the treasure? Uh... Okay... Find the treasure areas indicated. Now I'm looking at it very carefully. And I, I've got a pretty good idea now. So first of all. I should. Oh it's going to show me on the map. Good. So let's go and pick up those treasures. 
wherever they may be, and whatever they may be. It shouldn't take too long to get three of them. I intend to complete at least one or two more quests after this one in this video. It all it just depends on uh, how fast they are. This one doesn't seem like it's going to take too long. I just need to get over to that area now. Ah, crap. I wasn't expecting it to... Good. I wasn't expecting the water to get that deep that fast. I'm gonna get some of this stuff off the tree here. Come on. Gotta get the lantern fiber. Oh, I got it all. Okay. Find the treasure. Uh, it's not gonna take too long, right? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Another uh, test subject. I think I'm about to upset these poor guys I will have quite a oil. bit. There we go. Yeah. That went yeah. right through the tent. <laughs> nice. I suppose. Why is there so many enemies all of a sudden? It feels like there's just a ton of them out of nowhere. Where'd they come from? Weird. Maybe I was just imagining it. But I don't think so. Just gotta knock him into the water. And I... Okay, I didn't end up doing it, but... Wait a second, where's my loot? None of them dropped loot, huh? Okay, not a big deal. Uh, adventure's pocket watch. Okay, that's one of the three treasures. I may as well pick up all this stuff, too. I think there was a book around here. I think it said something about a diary. Yeah, Diary of Roll the Adventure of Prey. I haven't actually read any of the books in this game other than, like, one required for a quiz or whatever. Uh, there's a commission quiz. Let's see. Well, it's not really required, but it was something that they recommend that you read in order to be able to answer some of the questions that it asks, so. I did just that. And after I did that, I felt like it was a waste of time. Because I ended up being able to answer all three questions without even having to reference the book in the first place. So, I mean, I say that, but I have no way to prove that that's the case, since I did read the book. It's just I'm fairly certain that I would have been able to answer all the questions without referencing it. What was that? Oh, these three things. May as well pick them up, because they're... Clearly, not suspicious at all. I'm gonna defeat this enemy very fast just because I can. Stabilize. After all, I mean, it was just kind of sitting there. And the flower patterns like that, they're not exactly normal. So this enemy should drop something. Gather. Should, being the keyword. Doesn't mean it will. There we go. Nothing? Really? What's up with that? This is a bit annoying. I wonder if that was related to the, uh, the fact that it only spawns, you know, in that spot once a day or whatever. I did not mean to jump down here, but I just thought I'll just beat this lady now. I shouldn't have let her do that. It's gonna be way more troublesome now. Way more troublesome. Thankfully, uh, D. Luke is able to keep her stunned for some reason. I don't know why uh, John Lee wasn't able to. Is he just not hitting hard enough? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing around after this one. 
just grab the prize that I got and be on my way. It takes forever to pick up items in this game. I still think that they should like, patch it so that items are automatically picked up. Okay, I'm not messing with you now. I don't care if there was a treasure chest there. I, I don't think there was, but even if there was, I don't care. What's up with What's up with this? Why does it feel like... Oh, over here, okay. Yeah, there's a treasure chest. I wonder if that's the one I'm looking for, though. It may not matter. Oh. Okay. Uh... Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm hoping that I can drown somebody, but I don't think I can. Ice types tend to be very resilient when it comes to that. Which is unfortunate. Crap. Come on, man. I don't want to take forever against these guys. I, I, I definitely have been here before because of that shrine right there. I got the treasure in it already. A long time ago. Good grief. Why is it able to freeze me so much? Probably because I'm messing up. Okay, you're you're about to die now, right? Please. Oh no. Did I miss uh, did I miss one? Or did they spawn again after a while? Please tell me they don't spawn again after a while. Because that would suck. Okay. Why is this one taking forever, though? It feels like that one is taking way longer than it should. Okay. That should deal with most of them. But this one is like a cockroach. This won't die. Please die. Oh my goodness. I can't deal with it because this area is... Or I can't deal with it efficiently, rather, because this area is... full of water. And now Steelers is on dead. He's gotta be kidding me. Thank you. That, that's ridiculous. Wait, is that really all that was? Wow, that was totally worth it. Okay, never mind. It gave me more than that. It just happened to give it to me automatically. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go heal up first. I hate to do that, but I got my butt kicked in that fight. Unfortunately. And now I have to recover because I don't know what's going to happen uh, at the next area. That fight was way more difficult than it had to be, though. That's for sure. Well, I was probably making it more difficult than it had to be. But now that I'm healed up, I'll just go right over to uh, that area and make my way to wherever the treasure is. It's probably going to be a fight against Hilly Charles this time. Because the first one was against Treasure Hoarders. The second one was against Slime. So I'm fairly certain that Hilly Charles are the next one. That or uh, Piss Mages. One of the two. I'm kind of... Uh, it's kind of odd that uh, it wasn't Abyss Mages though. Hmm. Or at least different types of slimes. One of the two would have made more sense. But whatever. Oh, I have to go down in here. At least I think I do. Oh, lovely. Right. Why? Ah, that's annoying. Ah, stupid spider. They don't deal very much damage, though, so it's not a big deal. It's just annoying, that's all. What's up with this crowd? 
and there's two of them. It's kind of an odd little thing there. Gather. Okay. This is order. That should get rid of. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've ever been down in this uh, little area here. It's very odd. Gather. May as well pick that up while I'm at it. Why? Why aren't you picking it up? Do I have to stand next to it for five minutes? Wasn't even giving me the option to pick that up until I stood by it for a few seconds. Still, just another example of how odd the the lag is in this game. Stabilize. I hate the fact that I have to I have to defeat these enemies first before it allow me to aim at the other, at the, at these stupid spiders. There, I got at least one of them. Okay, now that I've done that, stabilize. I will have order. That should pro. Oh, I forgot. Well, it did at least uh, cause them to get stolen. Uh, wait, uh, petrified or whatever. I don't know what it's called when they turn to stone like that. I'm just assuming it's petrification. Big grief. How many enemies are down here? Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, unfortunately... Geo doesn't do any damage to these guys, but that's fine because it's mainly for breaking their rock shields or whatever anyways, which I'm pretty sure it did do. Uh, it did break them or whatever. At least, uh, what was it called? The Zhongli's super elemental burst or whatever. I, I keep calling it super attack, but I'm pretty sure it's elemental burst. But uh, I believe that that actually destroyed their shields before. Now I just gotta find out where this is. I hope I didn't just fight a bunch of enemies for no reason. Uh, where could it be? You've gotta be kidding me. What's up with all these spiders? Uh, like, they're everywhere in this place. Uh, obviously I'm narrowing it down, but I'm still not sure where it could be. Should be over here somewhere. Oh, there we go. That's funny. I never would have looked up here if I didn't accidentally go up there. At least I don't think I would have. Well, that's not entirely true. I would have, I would have climbed up it. I just wouldn't have thought it was up there. I would have been grumbling about it the whole time. Okay, now that I've done that, it's time to return to that guy. Uh, that, this was an odd quest here. For sure. But I should have enough time to do one more quest. You know, besides this one. Because I'm pretty sure that this will be the end of this one. In theory. I'm assuming. Well, whatever. It takes forever to load. I know I complain about that on occasion, but it really does take a while. Okay. I wonder if I have to talk to him at night or something. How is the treasure hunt going? I found every last chest. All of them? You've got a knack for finding treasure, then. Plenty of people can't even get the lanterns to rotate. Since you found all the treasure, please take this as your prize. Happy lantern, right? Wait, is that a different guy? Why do I remember him looking different? Huh. Doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think he's different now that, now that I'm thinking about him more. I don't think he's a different guy. Okay, let's go to the next part. Oh, every single time I complete one of these, a uh, little lantern goes up into the air there. Uh, a festive first adventure. 
Shen Chen of the Liyue Adventures Guild seems to have been working on something. Accept request. Uh, view request. So let's go see. It's all the way over there by the Adventures Guild, right? Oh, it's actually not. Okay, I'll just run over there. Shouldn't take too long to get over there. I don't think. This? Oh. <laughs> that guy appeared out of nowhere, I think. I'm pretty sure that he did. Caused me to run up into that wall instead. Hi, Shan Chan. Uh, hmm. Why didn't anyone? Uh, why didn't anyone come? Is something the matter? Traveler, could could you hear me out? So it's a lantern right right now, and the guild was looking to hitch a ride on the festive chair to do some. And the guild was looking to hitch a ride on the festive chair. To do some advertising. To see if we could snag some new recruits. I hear that Brother Kian's come up with a game called... Called the Something Screen. The Somethingy Screen. I don't want to be left out. So I thought up a new activity. I call it My First Adventure. Simply put, I wanted to use some Xiao Lanterns to mark a gliding track. Oh no. Then, anyone who wants to take part in this activity can just open up their wind glider and follow the Zhao Lanterns as they fly. You get to feel the thrill of adventure and take in the beautiful sights of Liyue with Zhao Lanterns at your side the whole way. Sounds good, right? I originally designed two tracks, but when I went to notify the Millilith, they said that I needed to first to find a test flyer who could evaluate them from a safety perspective first. You must have a lot of adventuring experience, right? Would you mind doing the evaluation for me? Let's have at it. Uh, thanks so much for your help. Let's go to Mount Shenhang. Uh, Tianhang, then. I think that's how you say it. Uh, that's where the first track starts. Wait, you're gonna teleport me there? Oh, no. That would've been... That would've been nice to just teleport me there, but... Instead, you're gonna make me... Manually teleport there. Then again, I would have probably been upset if I had something to do in the area. Because I would have been like, wait a second, I want to do the other thing first. That's usually how that works out when games force you to teleport. Oh, wow. Is this... Is this new? Did they add this little hill here? I don't think they did. Uh, this is where the track begins. See? The Shao Lanterns are all in position. Alright, then. You can be you begin whenever you're ready. Click the Shao la Lanterns en route to your objective. Uh, a flying we shall go. I didn't expect for the Shao Lanterns to already be here. To be honest. There we go. Just gotta... Go forward a little bit. Backward a little bit. There we go. And talk to Shan Chen. Wow, that worked out really well. This is the finish line. You're pretty uh, good at this, aren't you? So, how did you find it? Uh, a very festive experience. Hehe, <laughs> he, of course. I put them there myself, you know. Well then, let's get to the next track, shall we? I'm hoping the next track will be a little bit better than that one. That one was kind of... whatever. Yeah, you know, it was... Like, a few lanterns and that was it. Although, I'm afraid that the next track is going to be, like, nightmare levels of difficult... Yeah, I, I... maybe I shouldn't ask for something too hard. I have to say, though, now that I've actually become a little bit more used to uh, how ridiculous some of these can be, it isn't so bad. They're still not really well designed normally, but at the very least it could be worse. Okay. Alright, this is where the track begins. Once again, the Xiao Lanterns are all in place. You can begin as soon as you're ready. Same deal as before, collect the lanterns as you head for the objective. Let's do this. Okay. 
and I have 58 seconds to collect five Xiao Lanterns, and I already see where most of them are. I'm kind of surprised that, uh, at the way it's designed right now. I'm just taking it easy. I don't want to get too ahead of myself because if I mess up at all, it'll, uh, it'll really, really suck. Not a big deal now. I just need to drop down like that and pick back up. Drop down again. There we go. That worked out pretty well. So, now that you've tested both tracks out, what are your overall impressions? Uh, they're not bad. Great. Guess I can report back to the Millilith now. I'm sure that a fun activity like this will attract a lot of, uh, lots of people to join the guild. Ah yes, here's your remuneration for helping me evaluate those tracks. Please take it. Those tracks were surprisingly easy. Like, I was not expecting it to be that easy. Uh, usually when they make those, they have no, like, they don't pull their punches at all. Of course, they also take forever to do, too. Uh, okay, it's time to do Keeping Wanmin's Patrons Fed. So let's go do that now. Uh, view request. Once again, it's the lantern, right? And once again, Wanmin Restaurant's che Chef, Chef. Mao is busier than ever. Okay. Chef. I can't believe I said chef. Whatever. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh, it's over here. Where am I at? And, uh, oh, I'm outside of the city. Quite a ways away, too. Okay, teleport over. As usual. Since that, uh, f gliding one wasn't too long, I decided to do another quest. But, uh, yeah, I'm finishing these up pretty fast, all things considered. Okay. Gotta make my way over to the chef here. And, hello, chef now. How many more dishes was that again? What are you doing? What am I doing? Why, I'm running one Min restaurant, of course. Haha. <laughs> now that I think about it, the one Min restaurant is where, uh, What's her name? Works. Xiao, Xiao Lane, I think that's her name? The fire girl with the spear? Anyways. Things have been getting busy with everyone going out to eat during the lantern rite. Even travelers from faraway lands have come to visit and join the festivities. Even though my dear Zhang... Oh, Zhang Ling. Okay, yeah. It's not Xiao Ling, but Zhang Ling. Even though my dear Zhang Ling has returned to help, we're still struggling to keep our heads above water. As a matter of fact, she went out to the, uh, she went out, she just went out on a delivery. Black. While everyone else has been hanging lanterns for the festival, we've been too busy to make a single lantern yet. If you don't mind, Traveler, could you lend us a hand? Do you happen to know Atsuko? She's the girl from Inazuma down by the docks. We've prepared her orders, so could you please go deliver the food for her? I've even made her extra large portions to celebrate the festival. There's also other the others who work down by the docks. Wrench Wing, Hammer Lee, Guan Hai, and Zai Hua. They're regular patrons here and always look after our business. They seem to be busy with work down by the docks, even though it's time for the festival. I would like to prepare some food to give them, but I'm afraid that we, we're simply too busy and won't have the chance to leave the restaurant. If you could, Traveler, please help me ask them what they would what they would like to eat, and I'll whip up whatever they request. Leave it to me. Thanks a lot, Traveler. Just come back here and let me know once you've asked them. Okay. What? What? Wait. This is a little too sudden, don't you think? You want me to dash over there? I mean, I've got 30 seconds, so it's not going to be too difficult to get to Atsuko, but still... Uh, I wonder why my order from Wan Min Restaurant hasn't arrived yet. Here's your order. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. I thought it would take a while longer before it arrived. All the festivities for Lantern Rite have been making me feel homesick. 
but I certainly won't be returning to Inazuma anytime soon. I wonder how things are back in Inazuma. Okay. Uh, now I've done that. I've got to go talk to this guy. Oh, I didn't read what Paimon said. It's no big deal. Uh, here I am working while everyone else is out enjoying the festival. Chef Mao would like to treat you to a meal. Chef Mao would like to treat me to a meal? Hmm. It would be nice to kick back and with a good meal and enjoy the festivities. So, do you like to eat? I really love the taste of fish. It would be great if, if it was fish paired with some special flavor. Say, see, it's sweet and sour, perhaps. Fish and sweet and sour. Uh, that's for Guan Hai. Fish, sweet and sour. Guan Hai. I can't think of anything special off the top of my head. What would you recommend? Uh, fish, sweet and sour. Uh, oh boy, I don't know. Black perch, uh, black back perch stew, I guess. Ah, yes, Wanmin Restaurant's uh, signature dish. I've eaten it many times already, and it doesn't have that sweet and sour taste I'm hankering after. I think I'd prefer something else. Hmm, can you recommend something else? Okay, the crystal shrimp. Hmm, there's no fish in that dish, is there? Besides, the flavor is too bland, and I think I'd prefer something else. Oh boy, I'm picking the wrong one each time. Uh, squirrel fish. I don't know how that's supposed to be sweet and sour, but okay. Oh, right. That's the one. How can I forget squirrel fish? Sweet and sour flavor with a crispy texture. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I can't wait to taste more of Chef Mao's, Mao's cuisine. Okay, so that guy wants squirrel fish. Guan Hai was his name. As soon as I'm finished with work, I'll go re release Xiao Lanterns with Kiming. Chef Mao would like to treat you to a meal. You say Chef Mao wants to treat me? That's great. So what would you like to eat? I'm, But I'm planning to invite Kiming to release Xiao Lanterns later, so I'd prefer something without fish or meat. And something without a strong flavor. Uh, maybe something like a light pastry would be best? Do you have any recommendations? Uh, Lotus Flower Crisp is most likely what he wants. Hmm, that sounds good. It's nice and light and tastes great. That'll be perfect. Alright, put me down for Lotus Flower Crisp, please. Okay, not a big deal. Now for the last one. So, Lotus Flower Crisp and, uh, Squirrel Fish or whatever for that guy. Uh, weird names. That's all I have to say. Especially the squirrel fish. Okay, right way. I'll never finish all this work. Let's finish this up so we we'll finally have a rest and enjoy the festival. Chef Mao would like to treat you to a meal. Oh? I remember Chef Mao did say something about treating us to a meal during the lantern, right? I guess he was serious. Ha ha ha. This is too good to be true. Please give Chef Mao my thanks. So, what would you like to eat? I'm not going to ask for too much. It, I'd be more than satisfied with just a sumptuous bowl of hot soup and some crisp bamboo shoots. I'm not picky. Anything with meat is good enough for me. I'm not one for fine dining, so what do you suggest? Uh, bamboo shoot soup? Or come and... I don't know what come and get it is. How am I supposed to know what that is? Awesome. That's a good one. I've heard the story of teller describe what uh, once it at uh, ah. I've heard a storyteller describe it once as a dish that simmered to perfection over a low flame with a distinctive savory taste uh, sounds pretty good to me let's get that one then so squirrel fish it seems like we got a lot of dishes to feed everybody let's go back to chef Mao so squirrel fish and I already forgot the second one. Hopefully I don't have to remember it. I'll probably remember it if it gives me the option to choose it though. And then uh, bamboo shoots soup or whatever. Uh, talk to Chef Mao. Did you deliver the food? Yes, we did. Great, I knew that I could count on you. Did you also have to ask Wrench Wang, Guan Hai, and Zai Hua what they would like to eat? Wrench Wang and Hammer Lee would like to have bamboo, what? Who? Wait a second. I don't remember Hammerly saying that. 
Oh, I guess Hammerly was with Rentwain. Uh, oh, these two have rather similar tastes, though bamboo shoot soup uh, will take some time to make. I'll have to start preparing it early. Uh, Guan Hai would like to have squirrel fish. No problem, that dish is one of my specialties. Saihua would like to have lotus flower crisp. Huh, I never would have guessed that Saihua would take a liking for pastries and the like. Making lotus flower crisp is straightforward enough. No problem. Thanks for going and asking them to, uh, what they'd like to eat. Here, take this as a token of my, of my appreciation. Now I should get started on all those side dishes, uh, on all those dishes. Bleh. Won't you be hanging any Zhao lanterns? Ha! We don't have time for that now. I've got more dishes to make and Zhang Ling has just gone out for another delivery. The two of us can barely keep up with orders as it is. There's no way we have any time for hanging lanterns. Uh... I can take care of it for you, or I'll just, I'll make a lantern for you. I'll make a lantern for you. You'd really do that? I'll leave the lantern, uh, I'll leave the lantern to you then. I was just starting to worry that the restaurant doesn't look festive enough without any lanterns. Okay, that's not a big deal because I already have one. Uh, is the Zhao lantern ready yet? Yep. Give that to him. The Xiao Lantern looks great. I'll be sure to write a wish on it shortly. Once Xiang Ling gets back, we can release the, the lantern together as father and daughter. Thanks for your help, Traveler. Here, take these tokens as a uh, take these as a token of my appreciation. There we go. And in case, uh, let me see. Now that I've done that, uh, time to check out the next one, but I won't be doing the next one in this video. Uh, Iron Ingot meets Zai Wei. Interesting. So, let's view the request. Iron Ingot from Liyue Harbor seems to be troubled about something. So, let's find out where he is. He's 813 meters that way. All the way outside of town somewhere. Oh, he's right over here. Let's uh, go to the Statue of the Seven then. And assuming that it doesn't immediately throw me into a cutscene, I will finish up the video. Maybe. Well, definitely. Actually. And there he is. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. The next time I play, I will be doing the quest Iron Ingot Meets Zywei. I think that's how you say his name anyways. Or say that name. So yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.